What's up everybody, welcome to Gaming Tech. Today we're going to do maintenance on this system. Why you should be taking care of your system. This is a pure mess, but we will fix this. First off, we're gonna remove these fans. By the way, pay attention to the transparent blades of the fans. Look how dirty they are. Yep, look at that dust that is built up under that fan. That is insane. This is my partner's system that she refused to take care of. I had to pull in and do this job myself. Did a little bit of every day. That pump is cracked the reservoir part of it that's why she has a tea glass there that should have gotten replaced a long time ago I don't know why these tubes are even so long to be honest like this draining mechanism is retardedly done I'll admit I will be fixing all of this. Draining here is easy. That's what I thought because you're gonna see a surprise here. It's pretty funny. Mini ITX system in a massive case from Thermaltake XT. Not sure what happened there. I mean, if you're gonna have that huge case, at least go for a. ATX motherboard and here I forgot that this pump was leaking look at the build up around the reservoir and inside the reservoir is like sugar coated not sure what happened with that mixture and you see some build ups and lumps in that blue liquid doesn't look exactly blue it's in a way green what do you think of the color? Maybe I'm colorblind. It's normal that the soft tube after a while gets clouded like this. And of course I'm gonna spill more and getting more frustrated with her build and this retarded dead tubes. It's funny. I mean it was her first build so I'm not gonna hate on it. I wanted her to do it, I managed to invite her in the video for a short amount of time. She assisted me with her filming skills. Gonna pour out this liquid from the radiator here. 480mm SE radiator from EK. This part is easy but look at the tubes build up of dust there is gray this is insane how many years did she ignore this system unbelievable don't think guys i'm sounding negative i'm sharing the experience if you don't take care of your system it may look like this obviously gonna take these to the shower it's the most easy way to clean them. Nice build up in the GPU as well. Ew. I know. That's the Z370 Mini ITX Strix motherboard. We have a 1080 Ti here. How do you go on the banyo to them? not done there's one more here we will be building a new system for her also she needs to update her parts mm. 
That's the back plate. Do you think it's clean? Check this out. That's insane. Some of the steps I forgot to film. I apologize for that. She is holding the camera for me here. I cleaned the tube nicely. You can see the cracked part is on the inlet of the reservoir. This is a combo unit. I'm sure you guys know. I cleaned the rubber gasket, everything. What do I use? Soap. Does the job. Do not use alcohol and acrylic. It may cause cracks. You're not meant to do it. And since these blocks are nickel plated, something acidic is absolutely big no. Soap again. This is gonna go to the shower. It's the most easy job. Look at it, it's like a piece of wool. Almost insane. Yeah, this is the most easy way to do. Then we're gonna give some warm water. By the way, water I'm using here is extremely warm. So I was burning my fingers even. There we go. Let's clean this one also. The flow meter. I saw a little bit of build up there. I mean, if I'm gonna clean everything, why not take a part of this one as well? That's the acrylic piece. Very little build up in the back acrylic. Sometimes you need to do this with your system, it's needed. Preferably, if you're doing every six months even better flush the system put some new liquid inside it's nothing to be scared of guys we're running out of space here let's make a space i'm excited and i'm moving out from this flat gonna have a huge place very nice opportunities gonna take this motherboard off four screws fairly simple process I believe she was mainly using this system for gaming that metal plate is from the case itself from the thermal take case it ended up being like a test bench we leak a little bit liquid there here don't forget the washers. Here I took everything off. I was like, why is this stuck? Obviously the thermal paste is doing very nice contact there. With little bit force it's easy to do. She did a little bit sloppy job with the thermal pads. But the thermal paste application is not bad at all. And we have the clean system. I cleaned everything. I didn't film the monoblock part. I'm really sorry about it. I forgot. Basically what I did is I put inside warm water with some soap inside. Overnight I let it be there. I will show you the fins of the GPU also. There we go. Super clean now. Thank you for watching guys. This was a maintenance update how I did this system. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, share the video. It helps tremendous amount. I'll see you on the next one. Take care of yourselves. Let's go.